Now, be honest, were you a big Eurovision fan before this happened or did you know much about it at all? And now you do know much about it, if not. Um, are you are you interested in it for future years? Yeah, it, I mean, doing it has changed my mind a lot on um, what I thought before. Eurovision is a bit of a tradition for people in the UK, even if they don't admit to it. I mean, <laughs> I've obviously grown up with it. It's quite a big deal. And as much as I think the UK, you know, we feel a bit scornful about the fact that we don't do well every time, we we want to do well. I think mm. every year we, we really do want to do well. So, um, yeah, I, I had a bit of a preconception about what Eurovision was about and it that has changed quite a lot in me doing it. In a good way? In a very, very good, good. way, good. yes. You've joined the club, I mean, love. I know, I know, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you are in. I'm in. I'm in. Oh, God. <laughs> Never to get out, I warn you. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, no. Well, all we can say is we wish you the very, very best of luck. I've not heard such excitement about a UK song for many, many years mm -hmm. from the majority of the Eurovision fan public. So, you know, we're all going, Thank fingers you. crossed oh, for, for oh, May the 10th. Thank you so much. Brilliant news. <laughs> and um, if you need a presenter for Eurovision 2015, I'm here. <laughs> and a brilliant one you are. Oh, bless. And thanks for your advice. We wish her the very best of luck. Don't we, everyone? Yes, uh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, Nikki. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>